and welcome to Family Heritage Living. Today we are celebrating our eldest son's birthday. He actually turned 25 last week while we were all sick, so we kind of just waited to have a birthday dinner where we could all enjoy it. Um, so everybody's busy. We've got some out there. We're making ice cream earlier and Ron's out working in the trailer so we can get that hauled up north. And while they're doing that, I thought I would show you how to make the most creamy, delicious macaroni and cheese that I have ever had. <laughs> I, I found the recipe years ago, and I've just never found one that is as good as this one. So I'd like to share that with you. All right, we start by making a white gravy. And if you've never made a white gravy, they are super easy to make. Um, years ago, my mother-in-law showed me how to make her gravy for sausage. And you start with your butter melted and then you add a little bit of flour sometimes you add a lot of flour um, and you will increase your flour as you make this but what you're looking for is to get your butter nice and stiff so you can add your milk um, the best tool I have found for making gravy that will eliminate lumps is this little batter beater you can see it's broke I got this years ago at um, an antique store and I started using it to make my gravies versus a whisk and I just I love it I've got to get a replace this one I've had to replace it for I don't know three or four years um, but this one keeps on going so I just keep using it all right so you can see that the gravy is getting or the butter is getting thick so we're going to start adding milk it's really important to keep stirring your gravy because that will eliminate the lumps. And even if it looks lumpy, like right now you'll see a few lumps, those are going to go away as it cooks and as you add milk and more flour. You can see my oven or my stove top is really hot over on this one side. Um, you want your heat probably a medium high. You definitely don't want it on a high, but you need to have it high enough to where this stuff gets warm and the flour does its job thickening. Now I love meals where I use minimal dishes because I feel like some days I spend my life in the kitchen just washing dishes. So anytime I find one that only calls for two or three different um, pans, and it's, it's part of the main dish for the, the meal, the main course. Those are ones that get my attention and I keep going back to. Now I will put the amounts to the recipe underneath this video. Um, I'm not gonna spend time telling you how much of what goes in this recipe while I'm making it, but if you look down below, you'll find it. So our gravy is done, so our next step is going to be to boil our noodles. Okay, um, your noodles, you do not want to cook all the way through. You want to boil them probably to about two-thirds done, so we're going to finish cooking while you're, when your macaroni is in the oven. Um, you can use any noodle you want. We prefer, and I'm not Italian, so I'm going to pronounce this wrong, uh, penne noodle or uh, pen noodle, P-E-N-N-E, -E, if any of you know how to pronounce that, could let me know, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> um, but that's the kind we like the best. And we'll cook those to all, about two-thirds done. Then we'll drain them and we'll put them in our gravy. Once your noodles are cooked, you put them into your sauce. The thing with your sauce is you don't want it pasty. You want it thick enough that if you were going to put it over biscuits, you'd be happy with it. But you don't want it um, too thick because that starch from those noodles and the cheese is going to make it even a little thicker. And then it, your uh, macaroni and cheese isn't as creamy as it should be for this recipe. Now the thing is, other macaroni and cheeses that I've made before, you've had to make the um, sauce with the cheese in it, and I haven't found them to be as creamy as this recipe. With this recipe, you put the cheese in, just you can grate it, you can cube it, slice it, whatever you want to do. Um, but you just need to make sure that you remember to go back well, during the cooking time and stir it a few times to get that cheese um, to go through all of the the sauce and it's it make, it just makes it really creamy doing it this way now it looks like I've got a lot of cheese here but I really don't I have less than a pound and a half and this is a really large pot of macaroni and cheese um, that's the other thing about this recipe you don't have 
to have a lot of cheese in it. And a pound and a half is um, three of those blocks. We use all organic and we encourage everyone to use organic if possible. At the very least use GMO free products, but if you, you know, if you can or you choose not to, this recipe works with your favorite cheese, um, your favorite milk. Okay, so once that's all in, we add one more finishing touch to this. Now remember, this is like ice cream or chocolate cake. It's just a treat. It's not something that should be on your table every single day. It's, it's a fun meal um, for fun, you know, to celebrate events. Because this is really high in fat, really high in starch. Um, but again, everything in moderation. And it's, it's fun to you know, be able to pick favorite meals to celebrate with. So this is our last bit um, for this recipe. So we pour cream over it. This adds in thickening. It adds in the creaminess. Um, and it adds in the flavor. And a little bit will do you for as far as on your plate. This will last us. I've got five males in my home, three of them grown. And this will last probably um, up to four days for a side dish, for a main side dish. And we won't have macaroni and cheese again for another four or five months. Okay, so now we're ready to put it in the oven. It doesn't take long for this to cook. Um, my oven is running very hot right now, so I'm even going to cook it partially open. In about a half hour, it will be done, and we'll be back then. Alright, well our macaroni and cheese is done. Um, as you can see, it's as far as for eye appeal, it looks wonderful. It's very creamy and cheesy. Um, quick quick dish to make, minimal dishes. If you try it, I hope you guys enjoy it because we sure do here. Thanks and have a great day. God bless.